we are going to learn madras sambar generally uh, small onions are used in this sambar previously it used to be uh, called as uh, madras onions that's why the name has come as madras sambar otherwise you can call it as small onion sambar now i'll show you the ingredients dehusked red gram dal which is called as tuvar dal in hindi half cup small onions that is madras onions 150 grams two tomatoes chopped tamarind extract prepared from small lemon sized tamarind salt to taste little jaggery roast and powder red chilies around 10 dhania that is coriander seeds 2 teaspoons fenugreek half a teaspoon oil little for tampering for tampering mustard seeds 1/4 teaspoon black gram dal and cumin seeds powdered asafoetida little peel the small onions and fry it lightly and then pour little water and boil until it turns soft like this see i have already cooked this and uh, here you have to use a pressure cooker pour enough water on top of it and add little turmeric powder and cook it for 3 or 4 whistles until it turns like this the dal should split and do not overcook tamarind lemon sliced you soak it and then squeeze it like this to a thick pulp generally when you use fenugreek we should be very careful while roasting it when fenugreek is over roasted and over cooked it turns bitter but when you do it properly it it tastes very good and it never boil after adding fenugreek for longer period and when you roast it it gets the uh, good aroma i am using a heavy kadai here i have already preheated it now add the fenugreek and roast it while roasting itself it will start turning brown within a very short period it will start spluttering and shift it directly to pulverizing stone this traditional grinding stone which always gives best results for grinding spices if you want the traditional taste you can always use this otherwise you put everything together in the mixi this is how it is powdered and it is still fresh and it will have good aroma red chilies just use one drop of oil for frying red chilies don't add more oil then only you will be able to powder it better allow it to fry for a minute now add dhania that is coriander seeds allow that to roast properly until good aroma comes from it those who are doesn't want to do like this they can always use the sambar powder which is available in the market you can switch it off now this is roasted dhania and red chilies we are going to powder it in a mixi don't powder it very fine it should be coarse like this then only it will be tasty this is already cooked onions tamarind extract pour enough water when you add little jaggery the sambar tastes good i am adding rock salt half the tomatoes i'll add it now now i'm going to add this powdered spices add this fenugreek powder also cooked dal you have to allow this to boil for some time just add a teaspoon of oil allow that to become hot for tampering mustard seeds black gram dal and cumin seeds and asafoetida powder generally we have to add in this itself so that you get a flavor switch off add curry leaves the rest of the tomatoes i am adding now pour this on top add coriander leaves you have to close the lid immediately so that it retains the flavor now the sambar is ready to serve madras sambar is steaming hot ready to serve